Did you know African countries have some of the most interesting nicknames? Indeed, every country in Africa has been christened with a unique nickname, a moniker that speaks to its rich history, vibrant culture, or stunning geographical features. From the Rainbow Nation of South Africa to the Land of a Thousand Hills in Rwanda, these nicknames are as diverse as the continent itself. They are not just labels, but stories, each capturing the essence of a nation in a few evocative words. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at these intriguing nicknames, delving into their origins and the stories they tell about their respective countries. It's an exploration that will take us from the Red Island of Madagascar to the Kingdom in the Sky in Lesotho and many more fascinating destinations in between. So buckle up as we embark on this fascinating journey across the African continent. First, let's journey to the southern part of Africa. Our first stop is South Africa, fondly known as the Rainbow Nation. This nickname is a tribute to the country's incredible diversity and unity. Imagine a rainbow, an array of different colors coming together to form one beautiful spectacle. That's South Africa, a melting pot of cultures, languages, and traditions, all coexisting harmoniously. Next on our list is Lesotho. Ever heard of a kingdom in the sky? That's Lesotho for you. This nickname originates from its impressive geography. Most of the country sits more than a thousand meters above sea level, with its lowest point being the highest in the world. It's like a kingdom nestled up in the clouds, hence the kingdom in the sky. Moving on, we find ourselves in Namibia, often referred to as the land of the brave. This nickname was born out of the people's resilience and courage. Namibians have a rich history of standing up against colonial rule and their bravery is woven into the fabric of their national identity. Last, but certainly not least, we have Botswana, known as the Gem of Africa. This is not just because of the country's abundant diamond mines. More than that, it's a reflection of Botswana's political stability, economic growth, and commitment to conservation. It's a gem in the sense of its value and its rarity, standing out as an example of progress and preservation on the continent. Southern Africa, a region of diversity and bravery and a gem in its own right. Next, we move to the east, a region known for its stunning landscapes and vibrant cultures. Our journey begins in Rwanda aptly named the Land of a Thousand Hills. This moniker is a testament to the country's breathtaking topography, adorned with countless rolling hills and towering mountains. It's a landscape that seems to be artistically crafted, with each hill offering a unique vista, a fresh perspective. The nickname also symbolizes Rwanda's resilience and determination, as the nation has steadily climbed its way to progress and development, much like the ascent of a hill. We then set course for Uganda, known as the Pearl of Africa. This nickname was coined by Sir Winston Churchill, who was utterly captivated by Uganda's beauty. He referred to it as a fairy tale and a wonderland. And indeed, Uganda is a gem, offering a diverse array of natural wonders from snow-capped mountains to sparkling lakes and an astounding variety of wildlife. It's a pearl in the heart of Africa, a treasure waiting to be discovered. Our next stop is Kenya, christened the Pride of Africa, this nickname embodies Kenya's stature on the continent. It's a country that stands tall and proud, much like the lions that roam its savannas. Kenya is a beacon of progress and prosperity, setting the pace in areas like technology, tourism, and conservation. It's a source of pride for Africa, a symbol of the continent's potential. Finally, we arrive in Tanzania, often referred to as the Brain of Africa, or Bongo. This nickname is derived from the Swahili word for brains, indicating the nation's reputation for wisdom and intellect. It's a testament to Tanzania's rich intellectual heritage, its contributions to African thought and philosophy, and its commitment to education and learning. And so, from the rolling hills of Rwanda to the intellectual prowess of Tanzania, East Africa is a tapestry of diverse landscapes, cultures, and stories. Each country, each nickname adds a unique thread to this tapestry, creating a rich, vibrant picture of Africa. East Africa, truly a pearl in the pride of the continent. Now we turn our attention to the west and north, regions rich in history and filled with natural beauty. Let's begin with Ghana, fondly known as the Gateway to Africa. This nickname not only reflects its geographical location, but also its welcoming nature. Ghana was the first African country to gain independence, opening doors for others to follow. 
Moreover, its vibrant culture, booming economy, and political stability make it an attractive destination for tourists and investors, truly a gateway to the African continent. Moving west, we find Nigeria, the giant of Africa. This title is a testament to Nigeria's immense size, population, and economic power. As the most populous country in Africa and boasting one of the largest economies on the continent, Nigeria stands tall like a giant. Its influence extends far beyond its borders, making it a leading voice in African affairs. Next, we journey north to Morocco, the land of colors. This nickname beautifully encapsulates the country's diverse landscapes and vibrant culture. From the golden dunes of the Sahara to the snow-capped Atlas Mountains, from the blue streets of Chef Chowan to the bustling, colorful markets of Marrakesh, Morocco's beauty is as diverse as it is stunning. Finally, we arrive in Egypt, the gift of the Nile. As one of the world's oldest civilizations, Egypt owes much of its historical prosperity to the Nile River. The river's annual flooding provided fertile soil, allowing civilization to flourish. Even today, the Nile remains a lifeline for Egypt, providing water for agriculture, transportation, and hydroelectric power. These nicknames are more than just monikers. They capture the essence of each country, reflecting their unique histories, cultures, and landscapes. They offer a glimpse into the soul of West and North Africa, reminding us of the richness and diversity that lies within this part of the world. From the gateway to the giant, from colorful landscapes to the gift of the Nile, West and North Africa surely have a lot to offer. From the Rainbow Nation in the South to the land of a thousand hills in the East, Africa is a continent of diverse and fascinating nicknames. Each of these monikers uncovers a unique story a peek into the rich tapestry that is Africa's cultural and historical landscape. We've journeyed from South Africa, known as the Rainbow Nation for its multi-ethnic society and vibrant culture, to Rwanda, the land of a thousand hills, a testament to its stunning geography. We've explored Egypt, the gift of the Nile, whose ancient civilization was nurtured by this life-giving river. We've discovered Nigeria, the giant of Africa, a leader in economic and cultural influence, and we ventured into Uganda, the Pearl of Africa, renowned for its natural beauty and diverse wildlife. So, the next time you think about Africa, remember it's not just a continent. It's the Rainbow Nation, the Land of a Thousand Hills, the Pearl of Africa, the Giant of Africa, and so much more. Thank you for joining us on this journey across Africa.